Did you know that the image on this iconic album cover is actually a scientific figure? The lines represent flashes of energy from the first pulsar ever discovered. When I learned this, the source of that image was still a bit of a mystery, so I set out on an obsessive journey to find the origin. So I knew that the band saw the image in the Cambridge Encyclopedia of Astronomy and provided it to the album cover designer for inspiration. That same chart was featured in Scientific American six years before it published in the encyclopedia. Neither included a full citation nodding to the scientist that created it. Puzzling, but I had my two main clues, Arecibo Observatory and computer-generated illustration. But first, I had to learn more about pulsars. Pulsars are a kind of rotating neutron star that sweeps a radio beam around like a lighthouse beacon. The first pulsar was detected in 1967 by Jocelyn Bell Brunel, who saw strange repeating signals about one second apart from each other from the telescope she was operating. The first pulsar identified, known as CP1919, is the same pulsar depicted on the Joy Division cover, but clearly they're not the same image. The more I learned, the more the phrase computer-generated illustration began to feel important. The first pulsar our charts were created with analog tools, but at about the same time at the Arecibo Observatory, I knew some Cornell students were making the shift to digital. So I drove to Ithaca, New York, and spent hours in Cornell's rare book room, pouring through doctoral dissertations. And then, bingo, there it was, the stacked plot, and a 1970 thesis by Harold Dumont Kraft Jr. A few weeks later, I sat down with Hal and asked him about his recollections of Arecibo Observatory and how he feels about his data visualization being on the cover of Unknown Pleasures. It was a complete surprise. A colleague saw me on the street and he said, oh, by the way, did you know your image is on the cover of Joy Division? And I said, no, I had no clue. So I went to the record store and son of a gun, there it was. And so I bought an album and then there's a poster that I have of it. So I bought one of those too, just for no particular reason except it's my image and I ought to have a copy of it. 